What this video is on a substance commonly referred to as the nectar of the gods or amarita. Um, I'm sure there's many delineations to this substance that people work through over time. This is my initial experiences. And there's two ways that folks typically go about this. Uh, one is it's a byproduct of a deep, reverent, meditative type practice. The second is that it comes from progressively going through very precise mechanical methods or exercises that are both uh, energetic and postural and working these. So how I worked into this was by means of being tuned to it through a meditation. And I quite like this method as it had very little to do with me wanting this substance and wanting to experience this thing that I've read about and much more to do with just uh, asking for whatever it is that I might need. And what came from it was just, just happenstance that I was tuned to this. So what does it, what does it feel like? What does it taste like? Uh, it tastes like honey. And I've read a lot about how it's supposed to come from the salivary glands. I found more that it dripped down from the, like the back of the nasal passage behind, you know, that base underneath the sinuses, sort of if you were to go down from the third eye right beneath the head, um, at the center of the mental body, right through the middle, and that point um, right at the top of the roof of the mouth there, the back of it, that's sort of where it was coming from. And it felt almost like, it feels still, um, it's almost like you're, you know, like a, well, it's honey type substance. So almost like a mucusy in the sense that uh, if you're congested and you have stuff dripping down your throat, it sort of felt like that, but without the congestion. Um, and then the sweetness would sort of emanate from that point and then would it began to saturate through the salivary glands and you swallow it, it saturates, moves through the organs and it's, uh, it felt like it was then permeating through the nerves, um, all the nervous tissue, the muscular tissue, uh, everything. It was really quite a lot of fun um, and I'm really happy with how it came about. And this leads us into, you know, these different methods of practice. And you can practice for a thing. You can find and create uh, very, very specific exercises that take you in a very specific direction to achieve a specific result. Another option, which is the one used here, is to attune yourself to something greater, give yourself up to something greater, and allow it to make the alterations in alignment, uh, everything that's required for something to happen. And this is what happened this time around. And there was a relationship to alignment. There was a relationship to the bones and the way uh, energetic structure had to be shifted in and around the bones of the spine, but very little movement, physical movement that needed to occur. Uh, the, the tunings, the alignments were uh, a lot more precise than anything I could have manufactured through trying to come up with the precise facial and physiological alignments. So anyway, uh, hopefully that's entertaining for a few of you and I'm looking forward to seeing how this progresses and uh, maybe making my own system uh, of developing it and strengthening it that uh, people can bypass by, <laughs> by uh, tuning into it from a higher source. All right, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks, bye.